And for those of you keeping track at home, this is the fourth set of buttons I put in this controller. And I know what you're thinking. Well, Don, that's because you're buying crappy aftermarket buttons off the internet. Eh, that could be the case, except for these buttons I actually pulled out of my other Elite controller after the last set of buttons broke. All more reason not to buy overpriced, oversold, expensive controllers. That's the hardest part, getting the stupid thing back, snap back in here. Make sure to put this back in. Stop back on. Put screws back in and you're done. First time you do this, it's a little hard. After the fourth or fifth time, it's rather easy. The hardest part is, as you saw, clipping the top on. I will say it's advantageous to record or take photos so you can see which direction this green button's supposed to snap in there, because it's held in in a precarious way. So if you're doing this yourself, I would advise you take pictures or even shoot an up close video simply as reference for when you put the thing back together you can buy these kits online they come with all these tools here um, when you do it the first time there is a sticker over the center screw below the battery that you'll have to take out to see this screw here so if you don't take that label out you won't see the screw and the controller will not come apart so be sure to take that label out so you can remove that screw Just in case you're confused at home, there are only four screws. One here, one here, one here. Actually five, I can't count. One here, one here, one here, one here, one here. These guys just snap into place. That's what this tool is for. It's the very first time. It, uh, they do have some 3M tape. You can see the remnants there. So the very first time you pull this apart, it's not going to want to come easily because they do have that stuck on there 3M tape. Well, that's it.